Hi guys, it's Angie and I'm coming today to share a project for Crafty Me Shop and that is a group on Facebook and that is owned by Esme and if you go over there and join her group you will get in on her weekly sales. She usually has a sale once a week and it's first come first serve and she sells bling, appliques, trinkets, sari ribbon, oh my goodness, you name it, that, that lady has it and she has the most amazing things and I am so honored that I get to be part of her design team. So thank you so much, Esme, for allowing me to create with your wonderful things. Okay, so today, oh, here's your information really quick. Okay, so today, um, let's see, this is going to be a altered jar. And thank you, Amy. If you don't follow Amy Love, please go follow her. Her links are below. She makes the most amazing altered jars, and I got to see her create um, one and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do an altar jar with Esme's things. <laughs> so, um, what I did, here's the top of the altar jar. So it's kind of like a whimsy wonderland theme. Um, so this, these are um, some of the things I got in my little DT as trinkets. So I have this little deer and this little mushrooms Esme sent me. Aren't they cute? I love the mushrooms. And her, all her little paper flowers and there's some bling in there. As you can see on top it's so pretty and then I just put like a little gypsy bell around them with the jump ring around the deer's neck so I started off with uh, making a mound here you go a clay mound then I painted it and then I put crackle paint over it look at that crack isn't that amazing <laughs> look at the <laughs> I love just crackle stuff and then I did the same with the lid I painted it and then um, added the crackle paint there as well. You can kind of see it. Sorry, guys. I can't get too close with this webcam. Um, so there you go. So there's that. Just distressed it. And then I used Esme's trims and laces. I love this. It's so hard for me to use this. <laughs> and then um, these are were my... Uh, she gave me a lot of... Or um, some glass beads to use. So I used those on the bottom of... Um, each dangle on here and then here's another favorite um, trim that Esme has I love love this one I make I do a lot of things with these I love these these worked in a lot of my projects and then use some flat back um, pearls on the top there so there's the top top view and here's the side view and then I just put the tool so I just pull the tool up did the rubber band and then layered my layers on there and, and then, like I said, Esme's paper flowers, and then this is like a spacer. Thought it looked cool just turning it sideways and putting it in there just to add some sparkle. And so there's the top. And then when you open it, you can do whatever you want with this. I was thinking more like um, putting one of those faux tea lights inside here, and you can light it up, or you can just you know use it with for your pearls or your pretty things that you want to. Know, use in here to sparkle and then I I don't know I love making dangles and charms so I added a little dangle and charm underneath from my DT box so there you go you see kind of see it right here we pull it out here this is a really pretty heart that I got in the DT and all these little pretty things to use so I just made a little dangle heart so when you put it in there and you have a tea light, you can see a little heart dangling in there with the sparkles. And you could even leave the pearls. My idea was putting the faux tea light in there and having the pearls around it and all the sparkles inside. So yeah, so this is just like a really whimsy altar jar. I thought it would be a fun summer project. Really pretty in your craft room. It's all sparkly. So yeah, so I hope you like this project. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. Like I said, if you don't follow Esme, please do. Her links will be below as well, so you'll be able to find her there. I hope everybody's having a wonderful summer, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.